สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone, welcome to Speak Thai with me, Paul. I am now filming my Thai video in g r a k o Poland, and behind me is the famous Main Square. In this video, you will learn how to use two Thai words, b e r and b e in Thai conversation. But before we begin, let's take a look at some of the places to visit in k r a k o w Poland, and I will be back shortly with you. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Good, yeah. Fine. Enjoy your visit. Yes. Oh, yes. สวัสดีค่ะ and action สวัสดีค่ะ Hi guys I am back Most of you guys out there knows that b u t and b e a t means to open and to close However in Thai b u t and b e a t means more than just to open and to close If you want to know the answers, stay tuned and don't walk away. And I will be back shortly with you. First, let's start with "bird." In Thai, "bird" means to open. You use "bird" when you want to open something. For example, to open the door, you say "bird pratu." เปิดประตู in Thai ประตู refers to door to open the window you say เปิดหน้าตังเปิดหน้าตัง in Thai หน้าตัง refers to window interestingly Thai language also uses เปิด when you want to switch on or to turn on something for example To switch on the light, you say b u t f i b u t f i In Thai, f i refers to light. To turn on the TV, you say b u t TV, b u t TV. In Thai, 
TV is borrowed from the English word TV. So, don't be shocked when you hear the Thai people saying, open the TV in English. Whoa. Next, let's talk about beat. In Thai, beat means to close. You use beat when you want to close something. For example, to close the door, you say beat praktu. Beat praktu. In Thai, praktu refers to door. To close the window, you say beat natang. Beat natang. In Thai, natang refers to window. To close any machine, you say pit krung. Pit krung. In Thai, krung refers to machine. So, if you want to turn off your handphone, you say pit krung. Pit krung. You can also use pit when you want to switch off or to turn off something. For example, to switch off the aircon, you say beat air, beat air. In Thai, air is borrowed from the English word aircon. To turn off the water, you say beat nam, beat nam. In Thai, nam refers to water. Lastly, how do you ask someone for help in Thai? to open or to close something. For example, how do you ask in Thai, can you help to open the door for me, please? Chui Bert Pratu Hai Chan Noi Dai Mai Chui Bert Pratu Hai Chan Noi Dai Mai In Thai, Chui means to help. Bert means to open. Pratu refers to door. Hai chan means for me if you are female. If you are male, you say hai pom. Noi, which means little, is used to soften the tone of your request similar to saying please in English. And dai mai is a question word meaning can you? So, Choi but Pratu Hai Chan Noi Dai Mai. Choi but Pratu Hai Chan Noi Dai Mai means, Can you open the door for me, please? However, in spoken Thai, you can drop off Hai Chan or Hai Pom as it is understood who you are referring to. So, how do you ask in Thai? Can you help to switch off the light, please? Choi bit fai noi dai mai. Choi bit fai noi dai mai. Okay, that's all for today's lesson. Now you know how to use bird and bit in Thai conversation. In my next video, you will learn another two Thai words to say, to bring, or to take something or someone in Thai conversation. If you want to know what are the two Thai words, don't miss my next video. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my video, click like on the link below. If you find my video meaningful, click share, click subscribe if you wish to see more of my future videos. Thank you very much and see you in my next video. Bye bye! Sawadee ka!